Brad and Danelle both take to Twitter, dropping some smarts on the community, along with the BTC conference, pumping the market. Interesting stats to share with you as well, because we got to expose some truth. Due to the graphic nature of this program, listener discretion is advised. Heck, fuck Friday, everyone. Let's get to your comments, because yes, you, the viewer, matter most. I said in a previous video, I said anything the United States government touches, it ruins. I was speaking about sailors saying, you know what? The U.S. government should be a big BTC buyer. I'm like, you don't want the fucking U.S. government touching that. They're going to ruin it. Corey Anderson says anything our government touches in New Zealand, they fuck as well. Lots of banging going on this Friday and a lot of naughty Snapchatting. Come on, bitch, better have my money. Oh, but Willy Wonka's a little upset, says, where's my naughty snap? I've been getting them all day from the wife, and oh, I can't wait until she gets home. But you know what we got to do right now? Let's do it. Bitcoin sitting at 67,564E, 3261. Soul hanging out at 182. ETF rumors are right there. By the way, Soul passing BNB for market cap. Look at it. Hip. Yep, they're right there. BNB close to 600, but Soul stealing the thunder right now. XRP clinging on to 598, waiting for some Taurus. All right, let's get to what Danelle said. Come on, bitch, better have my money. SDF has always worked hard behind the scenes to push crypto forward in DC. We've been influential. It didn't start now. This post had 12,000 views, 18 comments, 194 little hearties. Brad then dropped some knowledge as well, and Brad's going after the Shermanator. Brad's starting to expose some stuff, saying, look, Kamala, if you want to get some crypto vote, you can't have people like this. And we know the Shermanator. Keep saying crypto, anti-crypto, crypto bros, crypto means hidden money, whatever. This is what Brad said. It would behoove VP is not to listen to and distance herself ASAP from folks like this who spout other nonsense. The Dems aren't winning any votes for being anti-crypto and thus anti-innovation, while the Republicans are gaining votes for embracing and encouraging. Oh, okay. Guess what, Kamala? You got to be careful unless you want to stand behind the Shermanator and the Warrens. Now, Brad's post, 285 comments, 2.2 thousand likes. Brad, 137 thousand views. Let's go back to Danelle's 12,000. But wait, wait, wait. No, we're going to get into XRP price. Don't you worry. I got that coming up soon. Look at this, a little stellar news. ETH versus Stellar. What about transactions per second? Ooh, faster on Stellar. Max recorded transaction per second, better on Stellar. Theoretical transaction per second, better on Stellar. Block time, quicker on Stellar. Finality, less time on Stellar. And people keep saying, did someone say better on Stellar? This is from Stellar.org. And as always, any article you see in this video will be linked in the description below. So they're comparing ETH versus Stellar. They just didn't compare the fucking price. That's your ETH versus Stellar chart right there. There you fucking go. <coughs> oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. I got so animated with that. I started choking on my own vomit. <laughs> Dude, five years has the thing down 92% to ETH. 86% all time. Y'all can sit here and flap your dicks in the wind talking about ETH versus Stellar. But why are you watching right now? Paper company. Gotta get paid. Bitch better have my money. I've been working on my Brooklyn accent. It's not that good. I got more of like a Chicago Upper Midwest accent. I'm trying, everyone. Acting classes. But you're sitting here touting all this shit growth and building. Your CEO tweets some stuff about being influential in D.C., right? Kind of going after the D.C. politics vibe that's going on. That gets 12,000 views. Brad's like, yo, I'll talk about D.C. and politics. 137,000 views. 11x the amount of views than D.D. 18 likes for the double D. While Brad gets 285. Come on now. What, 15 more likes? 15x more? I mean, like, come on, man. Like, get the net. You sit here and you bang the drum and no one cares. Meanwhile... Right When we start talking about XRP in price action, meanwhile, when we start looking at XRP, has been pumping better than XLM. 
XLM is sitting here for how long? It is only at 10 cents. And the worst part about it is when you try to find XLM, it keeps shrinking on this old heat map because it starts sliding down to market cap. It's this little blob right here. Nothing near the size of XRP, nothing near the size of ADA, BNB, or Soul. Nothing like it. No socials. They want to compare themselves to ETH, but come on. How do you fill your bank account? You fill your bank account with transactions per second? Fuck no, you don't. You fill your bank account with paper company and that, that right there, that is not paper company. That is taking paper company away from you while the, uh, you know, CEOs, execs, and employees live off of retail. But come on now. Meanwhile, XRP is clinging on to 60 cents, holding strong. Looking pretty healthy here as of late. Moving on the Torres news. Leaders like Brad Garlinghouse garnering attention. What about this one right here? Brad did this other one. Got 318,000 views. 384 comments. Let's go to Danelle's next one. That got 3.5 thousand views, three comments. Let's just be nice and give her another one. That was a repost. Here's this one. 32,000 views, seven comments. Awesome. Freaking awesome. But hey, building on Stellar, you got to compare to ETH. Dude, it's all about the paper company, and this ain't it. So that's the latest from Danelle, the latest from Brad. You tell me who the market really gives a flying fuck about. Come on, bitch, better have my money. I think that's what XLM holders are going to start saying here soon, because honestly, where's the action? Where's the juicy goodiness? Oh, but we're building. Thousand smart contracts on Sorban. We're, it's only going up from here. Yeah, but the price is going down. The the chart to X uh, to XLM to ETH was horrendous. I then show you the XLM to BTC. You're just gonna sit there and go, I fucking can't do this anymore. I'm done with this bullshit. And that's what my comment section be filled with. People being like, yo, XLM, overpromise, underdeliver. SDF is doing stuff, but they're not relevant. It's horrible. So who's having a worse year? Chicago White Sox fans or XLM fans? It's a race to the bottom of the fucking barrel. That's something you don't want to win. Speaking of winning, come on, Torres. Just deliver something juicy for us so we can move the F on. XRP's holding on to 60 cents, but I'm going to keep a close eye on this weekend. That's the only thing I'm worried about is low volume this weekend. No one yet, you're probably not going to hear anything from Torres over the weekend. And then, you know, that's just my concern. But it's still 6x the price of XLM. And remember, XLM used to be like a third the price, a quarter the price of XRP. But don't worry, they got more transactions per second than ETH and a thousand smart contracts building. But none of that ever made you any money, did it? Bitch, better have my money. Choo-choo, bitches.